Hello, friends, family, and followers. Just one man here. Uh, this is going to be my first uh, blowout video or gear list video for my Appalachian Trail 2017 through hike. And um, I kind of want to do a little gear blowout. Um, I do want to say that first off that my gear is um, a little heavy on things like sleeping and water filtration. Um, those are the things that were important to me. Uh, I'm sure I'm lighter on other things, but but uh, maybe not. So without further ado, I'm going to go over this really quick because uh, a link below in the description. Um, you should find a Google Documents which will have everything that I'm about to mention here listed in detail including how much I paid for it and where I got it because I do have some things that I've never seen anybody else carry before and um, I've got a little bit of a different setup when it comes to water filtration that I'll probably do a different video on. Um, but anyway, just to start off, I'm going to use my extra uh, hiking uh, pole right here to kind of point things out. So to start off, I have the uh, Tom Shoe Hiking Pulse. You probably have never heard of this. This is a Chinese brand. I got these exceedingly cheap um, off of eBay, China. And um, they're carbon fiber. They don't have that nice cork grip that everybody you know, kind of seems to like. But I've put probably 20 to 40 miles on these things. I don't remember when I switched off. Um, but they've been working great. I mean, I can put all my weight on it. I'm a, I, I want to mention I am a tall guy. I'm a big dude. I'm, I'm six foot one, and um, so a lot of my things you'll notice are maybe in the in the larger range as well. But uh, I don't mind it, especially with the again the sleeping comfort and uh, making sure my water isn't bad. Um, to start, I'm gonna do the rain gear here. I went with Frog Togs, um, the cheap easy option. Later on, I did purchase a Z Pax uh, rain kilt because uh, of all the great reviews on it. So I may end up sending the pants home, keeping the kilt and using the top, but I'm going to bring them at the beginning because I'm hiking in the winter. I'm going to be leaving in about a week's time, so uh, I'll be leaving at the end of February and I might see some cold weather here. Um, next I'm going to show you kind of what I'm going to pack into. I don't know if you can notice on the bottom there is a Z-Pax uh, pillow top uh, dry sack. Uh, this is the kind of the stuff that I'll keep in it uh, when it's not in use. But first, I'm bringing three buffs. I'm bringing three buffs because you can use them as hats, neck scarves, face masks, uh, wiping things down, bandanas. I mean, you name it. These things are incredibly uh, versatile. Um, of course, I have the darn tough socks. As with everybody, I got a pair that I'm going to wear, a pair that I'm going to keep in my bag. I have redhead. Uh, tall sleeping wool thick socks. I like to be comfortable when I'm sleeping and uh, I got these at Bass Pro Shop. Really good deal. Of course, Exficio uh, boxer briefs. Um, I got the 9 inch uh, which is the longer version. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about chafing in between the legs or anything like that. Uh, what you see underneath here is a pair of shorts that I probably won't use until later on. I'm still going to carry them. I might end up putting those in my bounce box. I still haven't decided 100% yet, and I'm sure I'll do another video on the bounce box. I do have a warm head covering. This is a um, wool, or excuse me, a down beanie for sleeping, just in case I get it cold. I have a full size light load pack towel. Um, I like this, and if I ever need to, I can cut it into pieces and use it later on on the trail. Now this right here, most people have never seen. Um, these are actually pillows. These weigh .6 ounces a piece. Um, now when I go over my sleep setup, you'll see I also have that Eros Premium pillow to sleep on, but I like a hugger and I like one in between my legs. I'm a side sleeper and uh, sleep is very important to me, so um, the extra 1.2 ounces for two full-size inflatable pillows um, I went ahead and brought along with me. Check those out in the description off of a little website. These things are absolutely incredible. Now this is some of the stuff that I'm going to wear from the beginning. I've got the, of course, the same socks, same boxers as aforementioned. I do have a uh, smart wool beanie, uh, smart wool um, glove liners. I do have some gloves under here as well. I don't remember the brand of these. I got these as well just because it's going to be winter time and I don't like cold hands. Um, again, uh, in the description, I'll show you those. I have some Alive tights. Uh, these are thermal tights. These have actually have some sort of magnetics in them. It's supposed to help with blood circulation. I'm going to try them out. They look cool. Uh, the Terramar is a mid-layer. 
Uh, this is a long sleeve thermal wool shirt. I do have the smart wool base layer uh, as well. You know, so those can be used in conjunction with each other. Um, and then, of course, I have uh, the Garma, Garmashichi. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that pants. Anyway, they're ultra lightweight. Um, they're supposed to be really, really good. And uh, I've never tried them in cold weather, but I'm looking forward to it. I did go with the Outdoor Research Gators. I know a lot of people go with the Dirty Girls. I don't like having to modify my shoes. Um, I really, I just don't like the design of the Dirty Girls. You know, people are going to rave and rant, and they love them. I like these. They're lightweight. I don't remember the exact weight, but again, you can see that in the description, and um, they're incredible. Now, my cook set. I probably should have opened this up, but I'm going to do a separate video on my cooking gear. Uh, I, I'm using a 750 um, container. I created my own little, um, you know, thermos or, or uh, koozie, as it were. The top, I actually took off the lid that came with it, and I'm using a collapsible cup that fits the top of this as a lid perfectly. And, of course, there's your fuel. I did opt for an alcohol. This may change along the trail. I've heard a lot of good things about the, um, you know, the little, the little tiny uh, gas stoves and stuff, but uh, I'll see along the way. Now, I did go with the ULA Circuit. Um, this seems to always be rated amongst the top packs as far as uh, both usability, lightness, and more important, durability. Uh, I, I would eventually like to become a triple crowner and utilize the same pack the whole way. So I got one that maybe weighed a little bit more, wasn't made out of entirely out of Cuban fiber, um, but could hold up a little bit better. Uh, a lot of people are using, you'll notice here, the two um, Nalgene bottles. A lot of people are using the smart water bottles. Uh, when I get into my uh, water kit, and I'll show you why I'm not doing that. Um, I prefer something that I can clean out and reuse, a little bit more environmentally friendly um, than using the smart water bottles, and I do sacrifice a little bit of weight. But with that comes this system. Um, this is very similar to like the Waterback or the Camelbacks. Uh, I drink a lot of water. So again, you, you mentioned me, water filtration. I had a kidney transplant. Um, so water is very important to me. I need to drink it a lot. So I actually have a little more extra weight with this setup. This also ties into how I'm going to filter the water, which I'll do a different video on and I'll attempt to explain it here in a second. Uh, I got these right here, uh, this little pack by a company called HTE. They're off of eBay only right now. Um, I got a few things around here from them. And they create, they make Cuban fiber bags, um, uh, you know, th this type of bagging. I forgot what this material is called. But uh, these guys are incredible, incredible, incredible. And they're actually based out of England. So you have to order these from overseas. Um, moving back down here, I just want to show you these two things real quick. These are also from that company, these bags right here. Now, I absolutely love these bags because they're slim line. They can slide vertically or horizontally into damn near any little compartment or spot. Um, this bag has my Deuce of Spades uh, cat hole trowel, a uh, little packet of wet wipes, and some toilet paper inside of there, and a little bit of hand sanitizer. So uh, this is my little my little uh, potty kit, my little doo doo kit, as it were, uh, that I can you know kind of separate from everything else. Um, this is my mess kit. I opened it up so you guys can see how nice and easy this bag opens up when you actually open it all the way. This has both my uh, medical supplies. Uh, again, I had a kidney transplant, so I have to put my medicines in there. My toothbrush, toothpaste, a little bit of floss, some soap. Um, I have a little bit of Tiger Balm right here in one of the uh, container containers. Chapstick, vitamin I, yeah, a couple of the things that you're going to have uh, that you're going to essentially need along the trail. Uh, moving on, I do have the um, Duplex Z Pax Duplex tent. This tent is the best on the market. If you're a shorter guy or, or gal, um, you, you may be able to use something else, but I, this is the third tent that I went through. It's the only one that I can fit in comfortably, uh, being so tall. And it, it's actually lighter than all the other tents that I tried as well. I might make another video on that as well, but highly, if you can afford the $550 that this tent cost, highly, 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 highly recommend it. Um, inside, you have some titanium stakes. I, I might switch those out to aluminum. They're kind of heavy, but I do like having, again, sustainability is, is a big thing for me. I don't mind sacrificing a little bit of weight for sustainability rather than being a 
you know, disposable society as we were. Um, this here is the Enlightened Equipment 20 degree bag. Um, absolutely incredible. Uh, or excuse me, it's a, a quilt, I guess is what they're calling them now. Uh, absolutely incredible. Uh, again, rated as the top. I, I wanted, of course, on the big three to uh, to kind of be the best of the best. So, um, Enlightened Equipment, check these guys out. They're incredible. Uh, the aforementioned Eros Premium Pillow. I'm sure a lot of people have seen this. Of course, this looks familiar to a lot of people with the exception of the bag. This bag, again, uh, from HTE. Uh, link in the description. These guys from England, they built, or they didn't build, but they have bags available for the um, sleeping pad. This, of course, you can see the uh, marigold or the yellow color. And uh, as most of you have assumed, it is the uh, Neo Air Thermo Rest. This is the large size. The reason I got large instead of regular is the regular, as a bigger guy, I'm rolling back and forth, I'm rolling off, I'm a side sleeper. It, it, it wasn't enough width. So this has, I believe it's a, instead of a 20 inch width, it's a 25 inch uh, width. So it gives you an extra 5 inches, and let me tell you, it makes a world of difference. Um, I was talking to you a little bit about my water filtration kit. Now, I know this looks a little odd, um, but basically what I do is I hook up uh, this, this 2 liter bladder to my Sawyer. I hang it from a tree and I use one of those little tornado things where you used to connect two liter bottles together and make a tornado as a kid. I connect that to the tip of the Nalgene adapter here, um, which again, then you know I can just rescrew back on and it creates a filtration. I can carry an extra liter of water right there. So this will fill, um, will fill both of those up. And it's just very simplistic. I, I hear a lot of envy on, on this kit. Now what you don't see as well is I have in addition to the Sawyer filter, I have a UV. Reason being is the Sawyer will filter out um, bacteria and, and some virus. This will eliminate all viruses, um, but it doesn't clear debris. So the combination of the both, I'll have debris free, very, very clean water uh, with a kidney transplant. That's very, very important. This little missing spot is the GoPro 5 that I'm currently filming with right now. A little couple accessories I'm using with it. Uh, this is a GoPro kind of clip all. So you can clip this onto a hat, onto maybe a shoulder strap with a backpack. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that. might be sent back. And then, of course, the uh, infamous stick pick, which uh, everybody knows and loves. I did opt for the Anchor battery pack. Now this is the um, the 20,000 milliamp pack. The reason I'm doing that is I'm doing vlogs along the way. Uh, this pretty much charges everything. It charges my GoPro. It charges my cell phone. Uh, it charges the um, uh, UV lamp here. Uh, it, it also charges my uh, you know getting into it my Petzl um, headlamp. Now I opted for the RXP. This thing is awesome. You never have to adjust it. Uh, if you're if you're moving around, uh, you can have it on a setting where it dims and, and gets brighter, uh, depending upon you know where you are. It, it's absolutely incredible. The battery is says I have still not run the battery out, and I've been doing a lot a lot of tests on that. So I'm I'm highly pleased and highly uh, anticipating being able to use that. Um, we've seen this before, Z-Pak's uh, bear bagging kit. It's, uh, it's commonly considered the best on the market. Uh, a lot of people will cut a sleeping pad in half and they'll use it as kind of like a little butt pad or a seat pad. I opted not to do that. I'm, I don't know, I just didn't like the way it looked cut. So I found these actually on China, excuse me, in China, eBay China. Uh, and it took a little while to come, but they're, I mean, they're perfect size, they're cut, the little dot makes them, you know, the way that they're dotted and, and punctured makes it fold together and compact down even nicer than, um, than some of the cut ones that I've seen. And it's real, real tiny, real lightweight, real tiny, um, as you can maybe see in comparison to my clodhoppers here. <laughs> These are uh, the pepper-colored um, Crocs. And uh, I'm using these as both camp shoes and uh, town shoes. So I am bringing these with me. I know there's a lot of weight. Everybody uses kind of lightweight flip-flops. But at the end of the day, damn, those are nice. 
A couple of winter things that are, that are these are winter kind of gear alone. Uh, I'm bringing these at the beginning. I do not like cold hands when I'm hiking, so you'll notice this is my third pair of hand coverings. These are mittens. Um, maybe I knows the difference between cold and not cold. Sometimes it's the difference between gloves and mittens. Mittens will keep you warm, 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 or your hands rather warm, 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 warm. And uh, of course, these will probably be well, not probably. These will be sent back probably sooner than than later. I'm keeping these kind of in contention uh, that I might have a cold, a really cold day or night, um, and they'll just be good for that. And then of course, uh, my last little bit of gear uh, that I'll go over is um, my. Uh, Hawk and Company. This is a packable down jacket. Uh, it is a 700 filled down jacket and it can pack down into this pocket. I'm bringing it of course during the winter months as well. Not sure if I'll need it the entire trip, um, but it might go in a bounce box or be, be sent back home along the way. Um, well, actually, you know, let me revise that. The last thing I didn't put in here in my bag liner this bag liner goes inside of <clears throat> the circuit and keeps everything you see here with the exception of this stuff that'll be on the outside and maybe the Ben's deep that'll be on the outside um, oh and the, this is a this is a, this is a, a paracord bracelet uh, some people will say hey, you know you may not need it uh, but the cool thing is if I ever need rope I need to hang some um, I've got it and it was given to me by my brother for Christmas and uh, it you know fits perfectly, so uh, that's that's coming along as well. Um, but uh, that's it for the gear. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, um, uh, maybe some things that I missed or, or some mistakes that you see me making, I'm definitely, definitely, definitely down to hear y'all's opinions and thoughts.